Hi, my name is Dale Martin De Silva. I'm the candidate for MLA in Calgary Northwest for the Alberta Liberal Party. The biggest reason why I'm running is that the current government has stopped listening. And I believe that for a democracy to work, you have to actually listen to the people. So what I want to do is bring that voice of the people back to government. I want to represent the people's voice. And I believe that the Alberta Liberal Party is the best option to allow the people to have their voice heard. Well, I think that the key issue on everyone's mind, the number one issue, is health care. Uh, other issues are infrastructure, education, the environment, uh, royalties. Um, in order to deal with those, again, I look at the democratic solution as the best. I believe that if you actually listen to the people, the people will always tell you what the right answer is. It's just a matter of actually listening to them and then acting on what they're telling you. Take healthcare, for example. If we listen to the people, the people didn't want the General Hospital blown up. The people didn't want the Holy Cross refurbished to the tune of tens of millions of dollars and then sold at pennies on the dollar to a government supporter. That's not what the people want. If we ask the people, they would tell you exactly what they wanted. They didn't want 10,000 healthcare workers laid off over the past 10 years. Uh, one of the big problems in my mind is that the government views things like education and healthcare as costs. When, uh, to myself and to the Alberta Liberal Party, we view the healthcare and education as investments. Because when you invest in education, when you have a healthy, well educated people, you are going to thrive as a society. So we can't view it as, oh, something that can be slashed and cut. We have to view it as something that we need to spend on now so that we have the people that will take Alberta into the future and make us the best province in Canada. Uh, other issues are, at the moment, our government has extremely bloated spending. We spend more per capita in Alberta than any other province. We need to figure out where those costs are going and make government streamlined and efficient again. Um, it's really frustrating when you hear people at the door talking about how we need to have, uh, they're, they're conservative and therefore they want, you know, streamlined, efficient government and government that is very frugal in their spending. And yet the progressive conservatives who are supposed to be what they want are the exact opposite. They spend more per capita than any other province and they have a uh, hugely bureaucratic and inefficient government structures that again we can go in there and we can make them streamlined and efficient on the education side uh, it makes it shows the government's lack of planning up until now when you have all these brand new neighborhoods being built and you have reserved tons of areas for schools but you don't provide funding for those schools until four years later after the neighborhoods have been built and the people have already moved in. It takes just a modicum of foresight and planning to say, you know what, we're going to have new families here, so we will need schools. So let's start the planning now, four years in advance when we know that those neighborhoods are going to be built and we know how many people are going to be moving in there. So we need to provide the funding in advance. And I'm a little scared about the P3 funding, which is proposed for the schools, because P3s mean that it's a business trade agreement. That means that the public does not get to see what the interest rates are that we're borrowing at to build these schools. We don't get to see the timelines that that's going to be paid off for. So we could be paying 10% interest for the next 30 years. Our current government has a triple A credit rating, which means that they can borrow money at an absurdly cheap rate, like 4%. So rather than borrowing money to at a high interest rate to pay for buildings that we need now, we should just be borrowing the money and paying it ourselves. Uh, it's very much like paying, carrying a balance on your credit card when you can go get a, a low interest loan from the bank. It makes no sense. Another reason that we need to look at replacing the current government is the environment. Uh, the Stelmac plan for fixing the environment kicks in in 2050, at which point we'll have to be 14% below our current levels or the levels of 2005, actually. So again, that, that means that, you know, I might not be alive by the time we start to work on our environment. It, 
I think the the general population knows that the environment is extremely important and we have to have clean air to breathe and we have to focus on not just the economy but our lifestyle and our quality of life and our environment is an integral part of that. So we with the Alberta Liberal Party have a wonderful plan for the environment to implement uh, hard caps working with the industry to figure out what the best route is within five years and to set a roadmap forward. We can't wait for 40 years to start working on a problem that's going to take 50 years to fix. That'll put us 100 years out and I don't want to leave my kids with a incredible environmental mess that will force them to leave Alberta. Uh, water is an absolutely crucial issue. We have to work now to protect our watersheds because we are running low on water in Alberta. You see it everywhere where our river levels are dropping, our watershed levels are dropping. We, we know exactly where every patch of oil is underground. We've never taken that and done a study using all this wonderful geographical mapping that we have to figure out where the water is. So we have no idea how much water we have, and yet we're using it up at a tremendous rate. So what we need to do is map out where our water is and start planning now for the future so that we can conserve our water and make sure that we have enough for future generations. In my view, almost all the issues are completely interconnected. So again, we need a government that has big picture thinking. If you cut funding to youth sports and arts programs, and then five years later decide that you're going to complain about gang violence and increased crime rates, I just don't believe that you should be in a position to make decisions. Because that's such a direct correlation that if kids don't have something to do, they're going to find something to do. So the minuscule amount of money that it costs to buy a basketball is far cheaper than the money that it costs to buy more police officers, put them on the streets, and increase your um, the space in your jails running through the court system, that's far more expensive. An ounce of prevention is definitely worth a pound of cure. And I think that a lot of people have tried in the past to actually talk to the current government and they voice their opinions and they realize that nothing happens when they voice their opinions. The, the current government, they listen to what you have to say and then they completely ignore it and just do what they want. Uh, again, nobody wants healthcare cut. I, I've never met one person who said, hey, I want less healthcare. So I, I think that the issue is more not that you just listen to your constituents, but actually you actually act upon those concerns and issues that they bring up. What I'd like to stress the most is the fact that I'm going to openly communicate with my constituents. And the, the special interests in the lobby groups, they know how to get to a politician and to garner their ears because they have paid employees that go out and find exactly who they need to talk to, tell them exactly what they want for the people that they represent, which is big business and special interests. What I'm planning on doing is making myself completely available to the average person, to the constituents. I will listen to everything that they have to say and I will incorporate that into what I take to the legislature. So again, I'm not representing special interests in big lobby groups. I'm representing the people of the constituency. The Liberal Party has the best plan for the future. We will actually make positive changes. We will restore healthcare to where it should be. We will protect the environment. We will build the infrastructure that we've been sorely lacking for the last three, four years. We will restore all the cuts to funding to programs that were so crucial to people's quality of life. We will restore arts funding. We will We'll make Alberta the best place in Canada to live, maybe even the world.